Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I did it. I was able to get an afterburner stand up and for $550. Now it came with a fair share of issues, some I didn't really even know about. For one, the rumble motor in the controller didn't work. So, or at least I thought it didn't work. That turned out to be a really simple fix. It was actually just a fuse. So the fuse was blown for the rumble motor. Now I will say this, the rumble motor for Afterburner is really, really rough and definitely cool in an arcade setting, but almost overly loud and aggressive for an at-home setting. So we'll get back to that later, but I think I'm gonna come up with a solution to make it more friendly for the home. The other thing is the lock-on light wasn't working. So when you were to find a target in front of you and you ready to shoot your missile, it lights up to indicate when it's a good time to do so. That was out, but that was just a light bulb, so no big deal. Now I did notice the lights above, which is a warning light when someone's locked on to you, those lights were staying constantly on. After some troubleshooting, I actually moved one of the cables from one working relay to the non-working relay, and the problem followed the cable. So that's just a non-working relay. So basically what I did is, and I don't know if it's gonna fix it, we're gonna find out in this video, I'm gonna actually replace that relay component with a new modern component and see if that solves that issue. So if it does, then that means the lock-on target light will be working, the warning lights will be working, and the force feedback for the controls will be working. Now the other thing that wasn't working when I got it is the thrust. Now if you remember in a prior video, the thrust actually didn't exist in the original Afterburner. That came with Afterburner 2. And this is an Afterburner 2 board, but for some reason the dip switch was set to off for the thrust. So I, that was a simple fix of just turning on the dip switch. Now it doesn't really look like anyone's messed with this, so maybe it's been off this whole time. I'm not really sure, but that's up and running now, so we're all good there. Now the other problems is the audio amp is actually busted. The right channel of the audio amp is broken. Now I have this rinky dink solution for right now. My thought would be to rebuild the audio amp, but Remember that rumble motor I was talking about? There's kind of something cool I think I could do there. Now, some may judge me for this, but I was thinking, what if I took the rumble motor, and left it there, right? But took the fuse out so it was no longer working and tried to achieve a similar effect with a base shaker and putting a base shaker right where that rumble motor would be so that when you crash or when you get shot out of the sky or when you shoot a missile, because all those things trigger the rumble motor, it would use the base shaker or engage the base shaker instead of the rumble motor. It's an idea I have. I don't know if it's gonna be a good one, but it's a way to get my audio working and I am gonna replace the two speakers as well. The speakers were completely shot, but you have to remember, these things were probably on full blast in an arcade because even turned up pretty loud in my house, it wasn't that loud. So you gotta think in an arcade setting, it probably was cranked up all the way and the speakers will blow out over time. So. I thought the right channel was just the speaker blown out, but actually it's the right channel on the amplifier not working. So I'm gonna replace that amplifier with a modern amplifier for now, and then I'll work on potentially rebuilding that amplifier. It could just be some capacitors, I'm not really sure, but I'm gonna look into it and see how difficult that might be to fix. But I'm super excited about it. It looks really good. The right side of the cabinet looks good. The left side of the cabinet looks good. It does have a little bit of dings in the artwork, but really nothing I would consider replacing the artwork for because it's all original and it looks really good. The lights that control the warning lights and the um, lock-on lights, they're regular incandescent light bulbs. I was thinking about replacing those with LED light bulbs. The only problem with LED light bulbs, maybe someone out there has a solution for this, is when they're off in a video game, they'll stay dimly lit. So I don't know if that's like there's enough power going to it that it stays lit up. I'm not really sure. It's not that distracting, but I can see going through a lot of incandescent light bulbs. And honestly, I don't know the last time I bought a standard incandescent light bulb. So are those all LEDs now? I don't even know. But anyway, I am really excited about this pickup. It was one I had on the list for 2022. So my list is pretty damn complete in 2022. But you know, I, I'm not bringing any more. Well, okay, I'm bringing one more in. There'll be one more video before the year is out of a new arcade game. And this one I got for a hundred bucks. I'm not gonna talk about that one until it comes here. I don't know if it's gonna make it here between now and the end of the year, but fingers crossed we might be able to make it uh, between now and then. But anyways, I'm super excited. I have a lot of work to do on this Afterburner, 
But the good news is, is this work is really easy, so it should be stuff I can complete uh, in short order, and I'll get an update video out before the end of the year, so you can see, did some of these ideas of possible modifications work in my favor, or, you know, should I just stick with the original configuration? Now keep in mind, I'm not altering anything about the cabinet. I'm gonna keep everything in place. I think the base shaker is a good idea, but we'll see. In part two, I'll see. Was that a bust, or is that actually a viable solution? Because honestly, the rumble motor is just too damn loud for the house. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed... Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel if you enjoy content like this and put your comments below. I wanna know what you think about this. I am so excited. Guys, this is Afterburner. This is a childhood game of mine. And while it's not the cockpit, trust me, I would love the deluxe cockpit version, but this is gonna make me really happy and it scratches that itch to play to play Afterburner. Now there's some issues I gotta fix. There's a screen graphical issue. I think I gotta replace some some corrupted ROMs. I'm not really sure. If anybody has experience with graphical issues on Afterburners, definitely let me know. I think I found the solution, but I'm not 100% sure. So I'm gonna fire up the burner, burn a couple ROMs, and I think, think that'll fix it. But again, I'll let you know in part two. That's it for now, guys. We will see you on the next one. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, why don't you check out another, and hopefully I'll see you on the next one.